Her life changed after she was diagnosed with a rare chronic pain disorder, and she's now telling her story to try and bring awareness to the disease. News 8 Now's Michael Germain is live in studio with her journey. Good evening, Michael. Ken and Emily, Gina Lindeland was diagnosed with trigeminal neuralgia in February of 2013. It's a chronic pain condition that affects the nerves in the face. She says the condition has affected her day-to-day -day life. Trigeminal neuralgia is a disorder caused by pressure on the trigeminal nerve close to the brainstem, causing attacks of severe facial pain. The pain would feel like every tooth on this side was abscessed. After Gina received her haircut one day, she came home and started to get horrific facial pain. When the pain wouldn't go away, her mother decided to take her to the Olmsted Medical Center in Rochester. But when I went into the ER, I would hold myself. I would have my thumb on my ear and my, my fingers were around my jaw. And I walked in like that and the ER doctor said, you have trigeminal neuralgia, that's a universal sign. After her diagnosis and multiple visits in and out of Mayo, she landed in Gunderson Hill system in June of 2016. Which was the best decision we've ever made. She ended up receiving brain surgery, which she accredits to saving her life. From my primary, to my neurologist, to the ER, to my neurosurgeon, helped save me. But a year and two weeks after the surgery, everything changed. We were laughing hysterically and I felt a huge pain in the back of my head. Here we go again. <laughs> Falling into a deep state of depression. I was mourning the loss of who I was. Gina was seven months into her marriage at the time, and she says she was lucky to have support from her friends, family, and husband. There's a lot of people that their spouses don't stick around because they didn't sign up for it. She and her husband spent most of their time being social on the weekends. Her life now did a complete 180. And in two years, we were hermits. A lot of my triggers were laughing and smiling. Um, being outside, the wind blowing in my ear would be a huge trigger. At 50 years old, she's realized she can turn her pain into purpose. I'm here to let other people know they're not alone. Now her goal is to continue being vocal about her condition so she can spread awareness to others. Ken and Emily. Fighting a good fight. All right, thank you, Michael.